Some companies will block access to Outlook on the web entirely because they don't want users to be able to download their company data externally. Now this new feature strikes a middle ground there, so users can still access Outlook on the web, but admins can use conditional access with Outlook on the web to prevent downloads on personal or unmanaged devices. So conditional access lets you define different security measures which take effect depending on how users are trying to access your company data. For example, uh, a risky sign-in according to Azure AD might prompt for MFA where a sign-in from inside your company network on a trusted device won't. Uh, an unmanaged or a, a non-compliant device might not be able to access certain apps while uh, compliant devices, uh, trusted devices can. This functionality has been extended to Outlook on the web. So as an example, an admin can set up a conditional access policy for non-compliant devices which requires app enforced restrictions. The admin can then switch over to Exchange Online via PowerShell and set the default set our mailbox policies conditional access policy parameter to read only. So that's the new conditional access policy parameter on the set our mailbox policy commandlet. This will ensure that users on non-compliant devices can't download uh, email attachments through Outlook on the web to their local device. They can only access them through the file viewers in the browser. And you can also set a policy which just restricts access to attachments entirely. Now this feature is available now and it requires a subscription with Azure AD P1 or P2 and it doesn't have the ability to be set via the admin portal right now. It can only be set via that set our mailbox policies uh, conditional access policy, policy parameter and you need to do that in conjunction with setting up your conditional access policy with the app enforced restrictions uh, option.